what I think is so wonderful. Because when all the stories break down, Richard, what have we got left? We've only got what I would call ourself. We're only really, when the stories all go away, there's just what's here. That's it. And when, and when we ask on the deepest level, what is the reality of the story in the moment of all this? What is awareness? And is there a me? And is there a this? And is there a that? If we just stop all the questioning, and if I could be rude enough to say, just turn off all the teachings, and just be, be the laboratory unto ourself. Finally, I think it ends up there. And I want to tell you, Richard, I really think that this is an extremely generous creation because I think that it points back to the truth of the, the absolute magnificent luminescent being of being. It points to it all the time. It just points to it. And, but we're so busy in our storyline about what we are experiencing and who we are and are we this or are we that, instead of just, excuse me for being blunt, to shut up and sit down, and I'm speaking to myself as well, and just get very close to what's happening here. This is the, this is the laboratory, and the stories are beautiful, and I love them, and are they true, are they not true? Um, Oh, Richard, I wouldn't dream of answering such a question. But I know one thing. There is something existing right here. That, that I know. Something exists. I can't name it. I can't, I can't touch it. I can't talk about what it feels like outside. I just know there is a knowing. There's something alive here. Aliveness. Not Mary Margaret more alive. It's an aliveness. And uh, so to me, the innocence that we were talking about is the innocence that keeps opening to the moment brand new, brand new, brand new. 